Chris Hill is the Uluru Camel Cup founder. How did the Uluru Camel Cup actually start? Like all good ideas, they always start around a beer or two. It's a small little group of like-minded people like myself. We decided we needed to put this place on the map, They'd not just rely off that big, beautiful red rock that we have out here. So we thought we'd create an event. What better event to do when you own a camel farm than put on a camel race? How does the weather affect the camels and how does it affect the punters that come out and obviously have a great day? Yeah, well, there's normally two sorts of weather out here, hot and bloody hot. <laughs> this year we've actually... Uh, had an exceptional heat wave. The main thing is you do all your iconic experiences, sunrise and uh, sunset, and you have a siesta and sit around the pool at the resort uh, during the day. So, Chris, who actually participates in the Cup? Is it a, an experienced bunch of riders or can anyone do it? We have a lot of people who try to bribe us to ride the camels, but we've really got to stick to experienced people. Most times it's a lot of our staff and also ex-staff that come back every year to ride their favourite camel. I know that camels can be quite nasty. I've ridden one and they spit a lot as well. Are yours well behaved or are they temperamental? Ours are very well behaved. None of our camels here spit on the farm. Camels are my family. They're just basically one pun Labradors. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want one licking me, I don't think, with those tongues. Oh, they're pretty gross. I reckon it should be on everyone's bucket list. Idyllic location. It is iconic. What can we expect during the event? We put on eight races, five qualifying heats, also three finals. We run around about a half a dozen camels in each race. Anything can happen. Some camels stop, turn around, sit down, run back the other way. Then we have our really experienced camels there, which take it pretty serious. They get very competitive. Have you got one camel there that's like Winx? We, we do have a secret weapon. Everyone's got a secret weapon called the Golden Nugget. He's also won two Alice Springs Cups. He's also won both of the Chief Minister's Cups in Alice Springs. No one's been able to beat him. How fast do the camels run? Are they like horses? They take off from a pretty quick gallop. They get up and run you know, around about 45, 50 k's an hour over wow. the short sprint. Do they have like one or two humps? All of our camels in Australia are single hump and they were called a dromedary camel. Where are the, the, the double humped camels? I've never seen any. Well, you won't find any in Australia. The last ones actually um, died out in the uh, early 60s. Um, they were imported to Australia, but without strict quarantine laws, you can't get camels into Australia. I love it. It's the Uluru Camel Cup, Saturday 25th of May. You can buy tickets at the door or online. Chris Hill is the Uluru Camel Cup founder. Thank you so much for chatting to us on the bucket list this morning.